my beloved child. Today I see you standing at the crossroads. You've been here before, hesitant, uncertain, filled with questions that weigh heavily on your heart. There is a pull between what you know of me and what you feel in this moment of doubt. You wonder if my promises still stand, if my plans for you are still good, and if your future is secure. But hear me now, my child, for this message is for you. Do not let today's doubt steal the blessings I have prepared for you tomorrow. This moment of hesitation is not the end of your story. It is simply a point in time where faith must rise above fear and trust must overcome the uncertainties. Child of mine, if you seek the abundance of my blessings, make your need known. Type yes I need and trust that my hand is ready to deliver all that you desire from me. The doubts you are feeling today, my child, are like shadows cast by a passing cloud. They may block your view of the like for a moment, but they do not change the fact that the sun still shines. I am the light of your life, and I am constant. The doubts you face do not define your future, nor do they cancel out my promises. They are temporary, fleeting moments of uncertainty that will soon pass if you stand firm in your faith. Don't allow a momentary shadow to convince you that the light is gone. I have never left you, and I never will. You may not see the whole path ahead, but trust that I am guiding you every step of the way. You see, faith is not the absence of doubt. It is the choice to believe despite it. The very nature of faith means stepping out when you cannot see the full picture, trusting me to lead you through the unknown. Think of the great heroes of faith in Scripture. Abraham. When I asked him to leave his home and journey to a land he did not know, trusted me with no roadmap. Moses, when I called him to deliver my people, doubted his ability but ultimately chose to trust in my power rather than his own. Faith is the bridge that connects you from the doubts of today to the realization of my promises tomorrow. So take that step of faith, even when your feet feel unsure. Trust me when the path ahead seems dim, and know that with each step of faith, you are moving closer to the blessings I have prepared for you. Faith is not about having all the answers. It's about trusting the one who does. My child, the enemy knows that if he can plant seeds of doubt in your heart, he can delay the fulfillment of the great plans I have for you. His goal is to distract, to distort the truth, and to cause you to question my goodness. Remember the first tactic the enemy used in the Garden of Eden. He didn't attack with force. He attacked with a question, did God really say? That same tactic is what he uses today. He whispers lies into your ear, causing you to question my promises, my love, and my plan for your life. But I want you to see through his schemes. He is a liar, and there is no truth in him. John 8:44. The doubts you feel are not based on reality, they are distortions meant to lead you away from my truth. You must stand guard against these attacks. Speak my word over your life. When you are tempted to doubt, declare the truth of my promises. Tell the enemy that my word stands firm, and I am faithful to complete the good work I have begun in you. Don't give doubt the power to delay your destiny. You may feel uncertain today because you cannot see the full picture of what I am doing in your life. But remember, my child, I am the author of your story. Nothing is happening by accident or by chance. Every moment, every struggle, every season of waiting has a purpose in my grand design. Just as an author carefully crafts each chapter, I am crafting every detail of your life for good. Precious one, if these words have touched your soul, let your light shine by pressing that like button. It is a reflection of the love we share, and I hold you close. Do not doubt my penmanship. Do not fear the unknown chapters, for I know the end from the beginning. I am weaving together a beautiful tapestry, and though you may only see the tangled threads from your perspective, I see the masterpiece. 
trust that I am working, even in the silence, even in the waiting. The plans I have for you are good, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. The storms of life may rage around you today, and you may wonder if I am still in control. My child, do not be afraid. Just as I was with the disciples in the boat during the storm, I am with you now. Though the waves may seem overwhelming, I am the one who speaks peace into the storm. I am the one who calms the winds and stills the seas. But there is something you must learn from the storm. The storm is not meant to destroy you, it is meant to deepen your trust in me. When you walk through the storm, you will come out stronger on the other side, more rooted in your faith, and more certain of my power. Do not fix your eyes on the storm, fix your eyes on me. I am the anchor for your soul, and I will carry you through to the calm that lies ahead. One of the reasons doubt takes root in your heart is because you are holding on too tightly to control. You want to see the full plan before you take the next step. But, my child, that is not how faith works. You must release your need to control the outcome, and trust that I am leading you. You don't have to know all the details, you just need to know that I am good, and I am for you. Remember the Israelites as they stood on the edge of the promised land. They doubted because they focused on the giants rather than my promise. As a result, they wandered in the wilderness for forty years, delaying the fulfillment of what I had prepared for them. My child, do not let fear of the unknown or the desire for control keep you from stepping into your promised land. Release your grip and trust that I will guide you. Trust that I am already working on your behalf. There are blessings waiting for you on the other side of your obedience. You may be doubting today because you cannot see how I will provide, but my provision comes when you step out in faith. Remember when I called Peter to step out of the boat and walk on water? It wasn't until Peter obeyed my call that he experienced the miracle. The same is true for you, my child. I am calling you to step out, to trust that I will meet your needs as you walk in obedience. Don't let doubt stop you from experiencing the blessings I have in store. Obey, even when it's hard. Obey, even when you don't have all the answers. My provision, my blessings, and my miracles are waiting for you to take that step. I am Jehovah Jireh, your provider, and I will supply all your needs according to my riches in glory. Trust in my goodness, and watch as I pour out blessings that you cannot contain. If your heart desires to dwell in my grace always, I ask that you support this ministry, my child. By doing so, you become a vessel of my blessing, helping others to receive the same grace I pour upon you. When doubt begins to creep in, surround yourself with reminders of my past faithfulness. Look back at the times when I have provided, when I have healed, when I have made a way where there seemed to be no way. Just as I was faithful then, I will be faithful now. My word is full of stories of my faithfulness, from Abraham to David to Paul. I have never failed, and I never will. Write down the moments of my faithfulness in your own life. Keep a record of the prayers I have answered, the doors I have opened, and the miracles I have performed. When doubt comes, read those testimonies. Remind yourself that I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. I have not changed you, and I will not fail you. You may feel weak, but my child, I am your strength. You may feel overwhelmed, but I am your peace. Do not let doubt convince you that you are alone in this journey. I am with you, and with me. You can do all things Philippians 4.13. You are stronger than you think, not because of your own power, but because my spirit lives within you. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. You are not fighting this battle alone. Lean on me, and I will give you the strength to overcome. When you feel weak, come to me and I will give you rest. When you feel weary, 
I will renew your strength. You do not have to fight in your own power. I am your ever-present help in times of trouble. My child, you have been sowing seeds in faith. You have been praying, trusting, and believing for breakthroughs. You may not see the harvest yet, but it is coming. Do not grow weary in doing good, for in due season you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. The enemy wants you to quit just before the breakthrough. He wants you to abandon the field just before the harvest. But I am telling you today, hold on. If so, you bring, we win. The harvest is near, and it will be greater than you imagine. What you have sown in tears, you will reap in joy. I am faithful to complete the work I've started in you. My child, know this, my love for you is the one thing that will never change. In the midst of your doubts, my love remains constant. Nothing can separate you from my love. It is the foundation on which you can build your life, your faith, and your future. When all else feels uncertain, my love is the anchor that holds you steady. I love you before the foundation of the world, and I will love you for all eternity. My love is not dependent on your performance, your faithfulness, or your ability to figure everything out. It is based on who I am, and I am love 1 John 4 8. Rest in my love, and let it cast out every fear, every doubt, and every anxiety. My dear child, if this message has reached your heart, respond in love by hitting that like button. Your action is a reminder that I am ever near, guiding and protecting you. My child, you are not defined by the doubts you feel today. I have a future for you, a future filled with hope, purpose and blessings. Do not let the doubts of today dictate the direction of your tomorrow. Choose faith over fear. Choose trust over uncertainty. Choose to believe in my goodness, even when you cannot see the full picture. The blessings I have prepared for you are far greater than you can imagine. But you must step out of doubt and into faith. You must trust that I am who I say I am, and I will do what I have promised to do. The doubts you face today are simply the enemy's attempt to keep you from experiencing the fullness of my plans for you. But you are more than a conqueror through Christ who loves you. Walk in that victory and trust that tomorrow's blessings are already on their way. So, my child, rise up. Do not let today's doubt steal tomorrow's blessings. Stand firm in your faith, knowing that I am with you. Trust in my plans, for they are good. Speak my truth over your life and reject the lies of the enemy. Step out in faith and watch as I move mountains on your behalf. I love you with an everlasting love, and I am guiding you into a future filled with hope, joy, and purpose. You are mine, and I will never leave you. Hold on to that truth, and let it carry you through every doubt, every fear, and every storm. Your Heavenly Father. Amen.